Welcome to the presentation series, Introduction to Sampling for Mineral Processing. This is part one. These presentations may be applicable to other industries as well, but are primarily designed for the mineral processing industry. This series will be comprised of several short presentations. You don't need to watch them all. At the beginning of each presentation, there will be a review of any information required for that presentation's topic. This current presentation is the Introduction to Sampling, which covers the series outlines and the objectives for sampling. The topics of other presentations are Sampling Basics, Sampling Errors, Metallurgical Samplers, Process Control Samplers, Effects on Mass Balancing, and the Effects on Recovery and Net Smelter Return. Here are some locations where sampling is normally done. At the mine. This is usually done with drill cores, which is not covered in this series. The crushed ore belt, which is before the milling circuit and is a solid sampling system. The final loadout point, or before being shipped, which is also solid sampling. And around the concentrator circuit, feed, con, and tails, these are normally slurry sampling systems. There are two main objectives for sampling. One is for process control. These are normally for concentrate and tailings of each stage of the flotation process. It requires sampling to verify tendencies in the process. They are important for maximizing metal recoveries. They are used to supply a sample to an on-stream analyzer, such as an XRF or a particle size analyzer, and are required to produce 8 to 12 cubic meters per hour of continuous sample flow. And the second objective for sampling is for metallurgical control. These samplers are used for metallurgical reconciliation. This requires samples that represent actual metal grades. This type of sampling produces composites or shift samples for laboratory analysis. One other point is that these kind of samplers can also be used for process control samplers. However, process control samplers should never be used as metallurgical samplers. Metallurgical samplers are used for metallurgical reconciliation. Mine to mill reconciliation, mill to sales reconciliation, metallurgical balancing where the metal grade in the plant feed equals the final concentrate plus the tailings, and permits defining a budget for what the company will produce and funds to be received. Here is an example of some sampling points in and around a concentrator circuit. MS stands for metallurgical samplers and PS for process control samplers. In this case, there are solid samplers after the crushing system or feed to the grinding circuit and where the end product is loaded onto a truck, train, or boat. Slurry samplers are placed in and around the flotation circuit where metallurgical samplers are for feed, concentrate, and tails and process control samplers are for intermediate sampling points. This is an example of a metallurgical sampling station for slurries. At the input is an inlet launder which is used to control the stream's velocity before going to the cutter which moves back and forth on a timed interval. The sample then drops down through a sample launder to a secondary sampler which in this case is a rotary vesin sampler. The secondary sampler is used to reduce the sample volume and or mass to a size which the analytical lab can handle easily. Here we have an example of a metallurgical sampling station for solids. At one end of the conveyor belt is a cutter which moves back and forth on a timed interval. The sample then drops down to a belt feeder which directs the sample to a sizing sampler for size analysis by the lab. The reject from this sampler then goes through two stages of crushing to a secondary sampler which produces the sample for the analytical lab. Here we have an example of a pressure pipe sampler for process control. Inside the sampler is a fixed nozzle which collects a portion of the stream as the sample. The sample then goes into a swirl tank to dissipate any pressure before going to a secondary sampler. Here is another example of a process control sampling station for slurry. In this case, it's a launder sampler. These are designed for slurry flows which are not under pressure. Inside the sampler is a fixed cutter which collects a portion of the stream as the sample. The sample then goes to a diverter which is used to supply a constant sample flow rate to an X-ray fluorescence analyzer. 
And finally, here's a sampling system for both metallurgical accounting and process control. Here we have an inlet launder and a moving cutter which is in continuous operation to collect a proportional amount of the processed stream. The sample then drops down to a diverter where the sample is split. One side goes to an x-ray fluorescent analyzer and the other side goes to a secondary sampler and for further volume or mass reduction to a tertiary sampler to provide a sample for the analytical lab. This completes the introduction section of the introduction to sampling presentations. We here at Heath and Sherwood hope you found this useful and informative and please watch the rest of the series. If you require more information you can contact us directly.